This is Apple's brand new Mac Mini, and it comes in this cute little box. I've gone for the M4 Pro version with no additional tweaks on top because I want to compare it with the M1 Max I have, and like always, Apple's unboxing experience is just incredible. Placing the Mac Mini aside, you also get a power cord with it and some paperwork. I wish the power cord was consistent with the MacBook Pro charging cable just for uniformity purposes, and I've had many people also ask me about how long it is, so here's a comparison to the 2 meter cord you get with the MacBook Pro, the power cord is just a bit shorter. The Mac Mini itself is quite compact and that's the unique selling point about its design this year. You get two Type-C USB ports up front along with the headphone jack which is great for convenience. There's also a good selection on the back and with this being the M4 Pro variant, the Type-C ports all support Thunderbolt 5. The bottom is where the power button sits which is a bit questionable at least for those setups where the Mac Mini is mounted to the back of a display and I'll have to wait and see how much of an inconvenience it really is as I use the device more often. While this is pretty much the unboxing experience, I also went ahead and set up the device with my monitor. During setup, you are prompted to move things around from your existing PC or Mac and once you enter your Apple ID and credentials, you're set to go. To give you a gist of what the Mac Mini with M4 Pro is capable of, I thought I'd run a few popular benchmarks starting with Geekbench 6 for both its CPU and GPU performance where the numbers are quite impressive. I also ran some recursive read and write speed tests to assess how the Mac Mini's memory performs, followed lastly by Cinebench where both the multi-core and single-core scores were seen. Only here when testing the multi-core scores I could hear the Mac Mini's fan spinning up and the heat being dissipated from the back of the device. But I want this video to be a start because I'm more of a fan of real world use cases rather than benchmarks. So let me know down below exactly what you'd like me to test with the new Mac Mini with M4 Pro. This could be encoding speed tests, rendering, gaming, or even comparisons with my current M1 Max. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.